Hi, welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Matt Warbeck. Today, I have Leah Crabb. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Looking forward to our chat. Me too. Mm. So Leah, do you mind uh, just filling in people what you do here at Sherpa? Sure, I am a media planner at Sherpa. I also do some account management, um, but mostly uh, right now, media planning. Cool. So I uh, wanted to talk to you about, because you come from a different perspective in many uh, ways, lots of experience, but you are the media planner and I feel like a bunch of marketers out there have taken media planning maybe in school, in a university course or something. Oh, sure. But in my case, I took one, but maybe it's just a lack of like ability of learning something properly or just didn't grab the concept. I still have questions about media planning. So I, f I figured like, why not have you on? I'm sure there's some people in the same boat. So. Um, why hire a media planner uh, fr from an agency? What would you recommend? Oh, gosh. That's a big question. No, that is a big question. Um, why hire a media planner? Because we'll take that off your shoulders. We'll take that off your plate, and you can concentrate on doing other things. Media, media planning, there's a lot of science to it. There's also some gut feel to it. There's a lot of time spent knowing what media covers what geography, mm -hmm. and, and I'm talking more traditional media. Um, TV, radio has very finite geography, of course, just because of the technology. Um, print hits different geographies and different markets and different frequencies. So there's a, a outdoor, um, so there's a, there's a lot of different media types to know and where they're situated and what their different audiences are. So that's a lot of knowledge to, to gather and to work on if you're only doing it periodically or only doing it for one client. Right, so, like if you're a, um, say like a marketing coordinator at an at a organization, sure. they say, you know, let's get some billboards up. Yeah. You know, there's a lot more to just call oh, there is. a yeah. distributor. Is that the proper term? Distributor? A media partner, media, media vendor. Media partner, vendor, yeah. yep. So. There's also perhaps some cost savings because if you're a, a recognized agency, um, you usually get a bit of a discount yeah. for, for buying media through the media vendors. Uh, they'll, they'll usually be a little bit more expensive if it's, a, if it's a client going directly to a media vendor. There's also um, a lot of administration that goes into uh, the media planning, not just the knowledge, but there's, uh, um, it's all based on a purchase order system. Sometimes there's affidavits that have to be reconciled that shows exactly what second your radio spot aired or your TV spot aired. So that all has to be sometimes matched against, a lot of it is now electronic, but matched against what's the, what the buy was. So there's a lot of administration that goes Tons into it too. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've witnessed how much back and forth you're doing with clients too, yeah. uh, and, and media partners as well. Mm -hmm. So well, would you see, um, speaking of traditional media, do you see any kind of, um, new directions or developments going on with traditional media in the next um, 2020? Well, just in, in our market as a consumer, uh, there's there's been a lot of uh, change in the outdoor space. There's been a lot of digital ads now that, that go on outdoor boards or billboards. Mm. And that's exciting because a lot of them can be, or they can all be time of day. So if you're driving at you know 7 a.m. on your way to work, you might see a McDonald's ad that is for a, a breakfast sandwich, which I know they now sell all day, <laughs> but... I didn't know that actually. But, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but any and and I um, other quick service restaurants yeah. uh, do that too. But, it's about time, obviously. But but but, but it's um, you can you can have time of day placements now on what used to be a board that would be static for a four week buy. Now you can have it uh, a different message at different day parts. So that yeah. that's exciting, and that's almost uh, that's kind of customizable now. Yeah, I was reading somewhere there's. Uh, some billboards are being changed uh, from, you know, the weather changes, so they start putting uh, shovel ads or winter tire yes. ads up on billboards. That's it's right, and that's awesome. that's similar, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. It is um, cool. Great. Well, thank you for, I know that was a brief little kind of jump into media planning, but uh, if you have any more questions, reach out to Leah, ourselves at uh, Sherpa. Thank you so much for coming oh, on. Oh, you're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. See you guys next time.